Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was thinking I could share a little bit about when we came to this house that I'm in. Years ago, I may have told you about the time that we were in eating our dinner, our supper, and we heard a big crash and I was thinking it was the ceiling in my bedroom that had fallen. We had put a piece of plywood and a pole up to hold the ceiling because I could see the the horsehair plaster separating and making the gap bigger and bigger and I expected it to fall someday. So we supported it. Well, it wasn't that ceiling that fell. It was the room next door that the ceiling fell. So as we gutted every room in the house, the only place we did not actually gut was the hallway upstairs. That ceiling was replaced. Was it replaced? Uh, it, it was, was there's, it looks new. Shape, so I just put drywall, we on, just top put drywall on top of it. We didn't have to take the horsehair plaster down, which, and the horsehair plaster and the lath, it was a very mess. Well, every room that we took apart, we were hoping to find a treasure. Gosh darn it, we didn't find any treasures. We found a skeleton or two of some mice their bones and they were intact. They were really <laughs> intact. They would have made great um, put under glass kind of things like if the kids were interested in we didn't have kids at that time or we did if they did they were too little to know they were very little. Um, you would put them in like a little glass box and have this little skeleton like when you visit the dinosaurs in the museums that's what it would have looked like. Well, we never found any jewelry. We never found any um, money. We were hoping to find a bundle of money buried. The only thing we found was books. And we found dead things. But we found this book, which is a Ross Brothers seed, annual seed and implement catalog. And this catalog is from 2000, or I mean 1904. 1904 and in it it has seeds and you could you know could order your seeds or, uh, like those are potatoes you could order flowers they had flowers they're not in color like today's catalogs are real beautiful or you could order farm machinery there's so much farm machinery in here and it is amazing the price of these farm machinery like it's listed at like um this two row, two horse corn planter. You need one? <laughs> you could get one. This is a corn planter. It's, it planted two rows, no less. And the price of that was $50. You could get a $2 discount with um, if you paid cash. <laughs> But yeah, and there's there's a lot of stuff in here that's really like this. Um, let's see, corn planter. Right here's a corn planter. We actually had one of these corn planters. Manual stuff. Manual, on. yeah. And guess how much that one went for? That was um, two dollars, and you could get a discount of twenty five cents if you paid cash. The prices in here in 1904 are amazing, and the machinery is amazing. Um, I actually bought my husband one of these um, two, this one wheel, what is it called? It's a hoe cultivator and plow. This little, let's see, where is it? This one right here. This I actually bought my husband one of those. I had to pay $40 for it when I bought it in 1980. And, and it was used. And it was used. And in this catalog, it's three dollars and seventy-five cents. Um, you can get a discount of twenty-five cents if you paid cash. Well, I'm not getting one, but I already got one. And we also found a Larkin's soap catalog. And in this catalog, they had a lot of things that you could buy, but they were. It was like you would collect your um, certificates. And you could get these things for really cheap or pay $10 for every certificate that you're missing. Um, like this bookcase, library $10 bookcase. $10 or $10? No, $10. $10 with a, uh, or 
free with a ten dollar worth of Larkin soap and products I guess I don't know I don't understand these books but the library bookcase was give for given for seven certificates or with ten dollar worth of Larkin soaps and products um, for twelve dollars or free with fourteen dollars worth so if you had the soap certificates you could get this bookcase I found that and then I found a book of this oh this book is from I saw the year on it where did I see the year oh this but this book is from 1875 to 1904 1875 to 1904 and then I found a Shirley Temple book this one I got excited about because I liked Shirley Temple and I never knew she had a stand-in. Here's her stand-in, her and her stand-in. The little girl that played her when they probably were showing something. I don't know what part she would be standing, what she would be doing that she'd need. And her name was Mary Lou, is her stand-in. But this was, and the, this one, the year and this one is done in Roman numerals. And so it was 1930. Six is when this book was. So that's what I found. This is what we found. We didn't find any money, but we found these books. And I did look these up. They're not worth anything. Because I thought, well, maybe they're worth something. But no, they're not worth They're worth more to me to just keep them than so to they try to. They were in immaculate condition. They were, they were something. Oh, they might be. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody would have to want them and have a good price that would go like, like, you got to have a good buyer, want somebody that really wanted to pay a lot of money for it. Then maybe I'd let them, I'd let them go then if they were a huge amount of money. But they're, they're just going to go back up into my cupboard, my cabinet upstairs where I've kept them all these years. But because we've had them since 1981 or two, somewhere in there, 82, probably we were gutting. Yeah. We were gutting the house, and it took us a long time because every room we had to gut. And I left one room, so when we had the foster kids, and I used to have kids that used to like to punch the wall. And after you fixed your wall and made it really nice and you painted it, you don't want fingerprints on it, you don't want any damage done in it. And I used to say, you want to punch walls? I have the perfect room for you. And I used to bring them into this one room that we hadn't finished. The horsehair plaster was still crumbling. It had a little bit of holes in it. I said, do you want to punch the wall? I can put you in this room and this could be your room and then you can punch the wall all you like. It would help take the plaster down for us. And they'd say no and then, then they would stop punching walls because I had one room that they could, that could have been theirs if, if they continued the behavior of punching walls. But when we fixed the room, then I had nothing to Say, I can put you in this room because all the rooms were nice then so that's what happens when you fix up nice the only thing left you'd have is the barn and the, and the county would never allow you to put them in a barn and our barn was even pretty nice because the barn I had mentioned the barn um, that we didn't have anymore I, I made a mistake in my thing I said it collapsed New, uh, New Year's Eve it was actually New Year's morning we heard this big whoosh, and there was a heavy snow load that year. And we had a camper that we were going to build a building for. And because the snow came so fast, and it was a real heavy, wet snow, the camper never made it into the barn because it used to have a great big, huge door where you could back the camper in, and it was out of the weather. And luckily, we it came as fast as it did because that year, the snow collapsed the roof and the barn roof fell in. We had double cupolas on top. I don't know if you know what those are, but people used to used to park their motorcycles by my barn, take their picture because the barn was really very unique. Well, anyways, the roof collapsed. It was New Year's Day, not New Year's night. And we had gotten up and I heard this big swoosh and I looked out the window and I go, oh, look at the barn. And Jim goes, what's wrong with the barn? I said, put your glasses on and see. And the roof was gone. And the only thing we lost in that was he had made a double seated chair that had a little table between. And I don't even think we ever got to use it. Uh, and we never nope. did. No, no, it was no. built, but it got smashed by the roof. And a lot of the chicken 
wire came out of that barn. We That barn used to have cows in it years ago and chickens. And so there was a lot of chicken wire. So we salvaged the wire from there and used some of it around my chickens. And then we had to buy more, of course. But that's what happened to the barn. And this is all we found in the house was books, these lovely books. The three, and they're they're old. They're 1904 to 19, 19 I mean 18, 1875 to 1904. They're pretty old. So 19. So that's that's what we found. Well, I hope you had a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.